Welcome to the first lesson of the Coral Trove Beginner Series. Now, once you open Coral for the first time, you will see the welcome screen. Now, this is where you get started from. You can opt to open a new document. You can open a new form template. Open an existing document if you've been working recently with Coral or open other from other sources you have in your hard drive. Now, at the top, you can see we have the software name. Then we have the menu bar. Now, it's limited because we haven't opened any document, as you can see. Um, then we have the standard toolbar over here and the properties bar. Now, these are disabled because we don't have any open document currently. As you can see, they are inactive. Then on the side over here, we have the toolbar. Now, we're going to open a new document. And you can click over here to open a new document. You can choose the type of, you can name it from over here. So let's give it a name. I'll name my example one. Um, you can change, you can choose the number of changes, the primary color code, the dimensions. So if you want an A4, A5, A3, you can choose them from here. So I'll work with an A4. You can make changes here. Do you want it to be a portrait or a landscape orientation and the resolution you can make changes over here but i'm going to set mine at portrait and leave the rest as they are and click ok now as you can see our new page is open our new document is open and at the top you can see that the menu bar and the toolbar the standard toolbar are active now from here i can change the units the size i can make changes from here off the page and as you can see the toolbar on the side it's also active as well now if you want to add another page uh, while working on corel you can click on the plus sign like so and then you will create another page so i'll name this example two click ok with everything else left as it is and as you can see, we have new page, a new page, example two. We have example one and two. And you can go on and on and keep adding new pages. If you want to remove a page, you just click on this and then it will delete it. And then you're left with one page. On the right side, we have the color palette. And this is where you get to choose the colors you want to work with when you're using Corel. Now you can choose from these colors. And if you hold your cursor over here and then drag it out, you will notice that the color palette is movable. You can resize it and sort of have it up here just hanging around so you can bring it closer when you're working on your project and go through these colors to use them. You can also come back here, click and drag it. Um, put it on the top if you want to remove it here again you can do whatever you want with it you can move it from one place to another so I'll just minimize that and I'll leave it over here so you can place it wherever you want on your window and work with this now another thing you want to understand when working with Corel is how to zoom into your document and to zoom out if you want to zoom in, just call your on your mouse, scroll upwards, and it will zoom in and scroll downwards, and it will zoom out. So upwards, you'll be zooming in, scroll downwards, using the scrolling bar, and it will zoom out. Then you have these slider bars over here. You can use them to center your page, or move it how you want to move it. Move it to a position where you can properly see it that is all for the first uh, introductory lesson to coral draw series for beginners in the next lesson we're going to look at how to use different tools in coral and what different tools do in coral